What's up everybody, it's Drew the Helium Noob. Thank you for checking out the channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, turn on the alerts, and if you really like the content, please give this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Today, I wanna to do a quick walkthrough on the new heliumvote.com platform, how to get to it, and most importantly, how to vote. But before I jump in, if you are looking for somewhere to buy, sell, and trade HNT, check out crypto.com. If you use my code and stake for a Ruby card or above, we will both get $25 US worth of CRO. It's not investment advice. Always do your due diligence before you invest in anything. But if you're looking for an app that, that supports HNT, crypto.com is one of them. So let's jump over to the website. It's heliumvote.com. Now guys, Helium Vote is where the Helium community comes together to make decisions on the network. Um, each vote will be driven by a Helium Improvement Proposal, otherwise known as a HIP. And then when the HIP is ready for voting, it will appear here. Now if we scroll down a little bit, you're going to have two sections. You're going to have closed votes and active votes. Um, depending on which section you're in, you know, for active, HIP 39 redenomination is the only HIP right now that is currently active for voting. It's approximately five days uh, remaining until that vote will close. And so far, there's uh, just over 4,600 votes on the actual HIP. Um, so how does it work? Uh, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to process a burn transaction for 35,000 uh, data credits, or approximately 35 cents to actually cast your vote. Um, so let's jump into the HIP, and uh, you know, so let's say we want to vote on this. So we jump in. You know, it just gives you a little bit more details uh, in, in uh, voting instructions. At the top, um, it's going to give you the author of the HIP. It's also going to give you a brief summary, and then again a breakdown of you know what block um, the you know voting will end, how many blocks do we have before that happens, you know that expressed in time remaining, um, and then again how many total votes that are. Now, if you um, aren't sure what it is, haven't heard about it, uh, would like to learn more information before you vote, you can always click this more details button over here. And that's going to shoot you out to the GitHub. Now, the GitHub is all the details for the HIP. Um, so, the, you know, this one's going to show you summary, background, um, stakeholders, detailed explanation of everything, what the drawbacks are, and then, of course, an implementation plan. So, um, that's the GitHub. Uh, always do your due diligence before you vote on any of this stuff. And uh, I would suggest that you kind of block out uh, kind of what's being complained about on social media, YouTube, wherever it's at. Um, and make the decision for yourself. Um, so that, that's a good place for the uh, information. Uh, so jump back over to Helium Vote. Um, so now we're ready to vote. Let's say we want to vote for it. Um, so you're going to actually click on for um, and it's going to pull up a QR code. Now this QR code you can scan with your um, Helium app. Once you scan it with, with the app it's going to you know basically run through you know, put in your, your password, all that fun stuff to go ahead and get, to process the transaction. Um, once the transaction's processed, your vote is cast. Um, they also offer it uh, uh, for CLI as far as what the command is to run to vote yes. And then if you wanted to vote no or against the HIP, um, then you would click on that section. It gives you a different QR code and a different command to run in CLI. Now it's important to note that let's say for some reason you were to vote for both or you changed your mind and wanted to vote again. The only vote that counts if you choose multiple options will be the most recent vote. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you do end up changing your mind uh, and, you, and you change your vote and or you know bounce back and forth, only the most recent one that's been processed is what's actually going to count. Um, once you're done voting, you can uh, check out preliminary results. This just kind of shows you what the community is doing. So like on this hip right now, it's about a 60-40 split uh, for uh, or, or voting yes for the redenomination. Rede um, once you're done checking that out and you voted, um, you know obviously there's some time before it, it's done. Keep an eye on it. Um, and then if you want to share it with you know your communities, your um, you know your minor buddies or Twitter or social media or whatever they do offer some uh, you know copy the link and then the Twitter link as well I'm gonna post this out to your uh, you know to your networks so um, that's it in a nutshell guys I appreciate you checking out the channel if you haven't done again please uh, hit that subscribe button like the video helps me out with the algorithm uh, you know gets our content out in front of more people um, and then of course uh, as always please feel free to, to put comments ask questions whatever I'm trying to stay away from the, you know, debating back and forth on this video. 
um, you know, so, so keep the comments clean and, and let's be respectful. Um, but other than that, once again, guys, thank you so much for joining and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.